as I begin my second tier, I, I put a uh, metal grate, uh, some uh, a metal grate that I got from a, a friend of mine, and I was able to cut it and shape it to the size that I want it and be able to lay that down. That'll give me separation from where the air comes in, the air intake, and allow uh, air to come up through it when once we start to lay in the other tiers. third tier, again, I will be overlapping and uh, some people only use a one tier uh, to have where the fuel or the wood comes in, but I choose to have two because then I can use larger pieces of wood if I want and I've learned some things about using larger pieces of wood uh, and uh, this way it allows me that freedom to do that. As I begin the fourth tier and working my way up, uh, all of these tiers will have the same pattern. Again, we'll be overlapping each of the uh, brick from below and that'll add strength to the whole uh, stove itself. And you'll continue the, this whole process and begin to uh, overlap and keep building up until you get to about nine tiers. That's what I use. Some people use less, but I've found that nine tiers works best for me, especially when I uh, transfer this information over and use this stove as a basis of going into my rocket oven, which I'll show in another video. <laughs> taken and I've snapped two brick in half so I have four for each of the corners and I use that for if I want to put a, uh, a pot on top uh, or another grid uh, so that way I can have air that comes out. So we, we actually have four different parts to the rocket stove. The first being the air intake, the fuel intake that's above the grid, and then we have inside the rocket stove is a fire chamber. That's where all the magic happens. That's where the fuel, where the uh, wood burns hot and clean. And then we also have the chimney or the exhaust where all the fire comes out. And a rocket stove uses very little uh, wood. Uh, uh, that's its advantage. It uses small twigs or in my case I use two by fours which I've chopped up and gone ahead and used a, a, a small hatchet to make them into small little pieces and, and it, it uh, becomes a very a big advantage. It produces a lot of heat and so I can cook very easily with it. a rocket stove. It works very effective and usually you can build this within five minutes, have it up and running. 
You can use it to uh, boil water, which would be very effective if you have an earthquake and you have to have clean water or cook with. It'll use up a small amount of wood. You can see that the wood is very small and it, uh, and it burns very efficiently. Uh, this is very important when it comes to uh, having an emergency that you're not going to have a great amount of wood around and this, is, this makes it a little bit easier for storing purposes and starting the fire. As I mentioned, uh, I, I sometimes will even use the, the wood a little bit larger. What happens is that that brings the temperature down a little so I'm not using as much and uh, I'm able to stabilize the heat. This becomes very effective.